John! Over here! Look, John. Cap's still running. Pa can't be more than half a day ahead of us. Maybe not that much. My pa's gonna gosh the buckskins off me when I tell him we'd lost the trail. Let's push on. He'd come far enough today, Jim. Let's, uh, bed down. We're just a hoot and a holler from Pa. And you want to make camp? You lost the way once. Look at that sky. More, more rain and night coming on. Might do it again. I still think we ought to push on. I'll take my chances in the morning. With the Redcoats turning up the Indians the way they are, we'd better keep moving. Just because you're Daniel Boone's boy, don't think it's got to go your way, Jim. We'll make camp here. You take the first car. Up there. Many men. Six scouts. Oh, for six scouts, General Hamilton pay six good British rifles. Not enough. Hello, this is our agreement. How many rifles for the yellow hair of Boone? You say Boone? This time, Scarray. I take great pleasure to go with you. How many rifles? <laughs> For Boone's scalp, many rifles.
it is, Becky. The gateway to the west with a fort in the center, just the way I dreamed it. Look all right to you, Becky. If it does to you, Dan. But it's good land, good hunting. Even a man's shadow can't crowd him out here. Of course, it's a long way from home. This is home now, Daniel. Help! 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 Hold it. What happened? Ambush! Shawnee war party! Ambush at Walden Creek! Go pick up Holder. I'll have to go back. Sorry. Take me with you, Pa. Not this time, son. Jessup, get your gear. Get ready to travel. Wait. Travel where, Andy? Where do you think? It's time we show them we won't put up with these killings. Uh, if anyone has a right to fight, I do. may sometimes seem strange. And we ask for strength and courage and his guidance as we face each new day here in the wilderness. This we ask in his name. Amen. 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 <laughs> Sis, James wouldn't want you to feel that way. James was a brave man. And a brave man's deeds live long after he's gone. James wanted Boonesboro to prosper. He wanted people to come here, happy people. As long as Boonesboro exists, your brother James will always be part of it. He loved it. He believed in it, just the way we do. So let's be the same way for James. Thanks, Pa. Let's go home, Becky. What I can't figure out is what are we doing in this godforsaken wilderness anyway? Transylvania Company put up a lot of money for us to come out here and build this fort. Well, we built it, didn't we? And now I'm thinking it's time for us to go back to civilization before we get our hair husked. Andy, I just dropped by to check the supplies and ammunition before I left. Do you really think you can find Squire and stop him? Man can only do his best. Well, you gotta do better than that, Boone. It's important to me. My daughter is on that wagon. It's important to me too, Andy. My three youngest children are riding with Squire. When do you think you can leave? In the morning, right after prayer meeting. You're supposed to be a friend of Blackfish Boone. Why don't you talk to him? I will, Andy, as soon as I find Squire and stop him. Uh, 
Israel? Yes. You know, Israel, I've been around uh, Fort Boonsbury here for a, for a pretty long time now, and I... Uh, so? Well, so, I was kind of wondering, Israel, about a... about... Uh, so, Santa? Yeah, thank you, Israel. <laughs> you know, it's... You and her were back in Virginia for quite a spell, and, well, it seems to me like... Well, maybe it's possible that she met some other young men while she was there. And then, it's possible, mind you, Israel. Possible? Well, she didn't, did she? What? Meet someone else. Who? Susanna. Boy, you Boone sure stick together, don't you? Yeah. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, this is it. A few sacks of grain, a few kegs of powder. It'll take months to get enough settlers and supplies down here to man this fort. Meanwhile, we can't fight red coats and red skins. It's up to us to keep the peace, Andy. With a tomahawk in your back! It isn't how you die. It's what you live for. We're here to protect the interests of the Transylvania Company. We're here to help the settler moving west, to replenish his supplies, to protect him as he's moving through the gap. Why, well, if we move out now, it'll take years before we can establish another fort. You're a dreamer, Boom. And maybe you're a fool, too. If we leave now, we can save some lives. A man has to do what he thinks best, Andy. Colonel? Someday, Boonesboro will be the largest trading post and settlement in the West. That's the kind of talk I keep getting from Boone. I know, sir. That's where I got it. Hi. Hi. Thanks. Beautiful, isn't it? Sure is. What do you see out there, Susanna? Rolling hill, green valley. A lot more than that, son. I see a generous helping of the future. Tomorrow. And forever. You know, I've been doing an awful lot of daydreaming up here. Daydreaming an awful lot. In fact, sometimes it even scares me a little bit. It shouldn't. My pa says that any dream is possible. Of course, sometimes one takes a little longer than the other, but... But all you have to do is... is keep dreaming. Dream. There's a long green valley Off beyond the mountains Long green valley Waiting there for me in the sun Down that long green valley Flows a bright blue river Down that long green valley Slow and cool to the sea. I'm going there, I'm going there, where a man can make a life of his own. I'm settling there, I'm settling there, where a man can live and die neath his own hump of sky and be free. That's for me down that long green valley. All beyond the mountains and that long green valley is calling to me. That's one Callaway you'll never have to worry about. You mean that's one Callaway we will have to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> Heavenly Father, protect Daniel and his companions on their mission to bring our brothers, 
our sisters, and our families to safety so that we may subsist and protect ourselves from the powers of evil and darkness in this wilderness. Shawnee! Come from up there, Daniel. It's from Blackfish. Red and yellow. Means he wants to talk. What do you aim to do? Talk. Look, Andy, keep the prayer meeting going and make it good and loud. Stand firm in the faith. Stand firm in the time, Pa. You know, son, some Indians don't like to talk to a white man with a rifle in his hand. You still want to go? Yes, Pa. You gonna let him go, Ma? It's your Pa's way of teaching, Susie. That you think we'll be heard of our love. Stand firm in the Sing your prayers to him. Let Daniel Boone leave Blackfish, and every settler in Kentucky will find his way here. Kill him, and they all go back to where they belong. No. Boone is Shiltawe, my blood brother. We have come here to give him my last warning. But you love. Sheltawi welcomes Blackfish and his two sons, White Fox and Running Deer. This is my son, Israel. Joe Tower, my white brother, is welcome. I told you I'd come back. Take your white men back to their own land. Why do you return with many white men? Such words fall upon my ears as though spoken by a lesser man. They do not come from the heart and the spirit of the great chief of all the Shawnee. White man has silver tongue. It is sharp as a blade of a sword. Cuts easy through the truth, Blackfish. There's an ugly sound upon the wind. Could it be the voice of a man, or the hiss of a serpent? Simon Gertie speaks. He is Shawnee brother like you. Brother of Shawnee? The last time I locked horns with Gertie, he was Cherokee. He is Shawnee now. You have been warned, Boone. Shall Yes, Israel. That's the name Blackfish gave me when he made me his blood brother. It means big turtle. So Andy Calloway called you a dreamer, did he? Becky, what do you think? Here I am fighting the Indians and the British and some of our own people as well. That makes you wonder. Just who's out of step? It isn't you, Dan. Are you sure? Not just walking around in a dream and out of step? Not out of step. But in a dream, yes. But it's the kind of dream that's made our land the kind of place it is. <laughs> that kind of talk is scary, man, Becky. Are you afraid? No. Neither am I. This is for good luck, Daniel. so good for me. You deserve for me to be just as good for you. We're all ready, Mr. Boone. Be with you in a minute. Yes, sir. Bye. What? shouldn't be out here. No? No. But Israel told me you wanted to see me. Israel told... Ma, that's funny. 
and he told me the same thing. What's the matter, son? Nothing, Pa. <laughs> Better get your goodbyes over, Baron. We're leaving. Goodbye, son. Goodbye, Pa. Maybe you, maybe you want to kiss me goodbye or something. Well, I... <laughs> when we boom see something that needs doing, we go ahead and get it done. Way out there, a possum sitting on a prickly pear. Could 
we going to help them, Mr. Bone? We'll help them, all right. Take it slow. Let's go. Tie these men to the wagon. Take your warriors back to camp. Tell Blackfish I return soon. Halim, beat, beat. How many men at Fort Boone's Barrow? How many men? How am I supposed to know? I've never been there. Daniel Boone. He's our brother, no? Yes. Tie him up with the rest. Don't move. It's me, Daniel. We're going to break you loose. Wait for my signal. Daddy! I knew you were coming. I told you mine and Lavina. Didn't I, Lavina? Yes. Are you going to take us to the fort, Daddy? Well, I'm going to see that you get away from here. Farron Calloway will take you to the fort. Farron? Why aren't you coming? I have several things to do. I'll miss you, Daddy. Bye, Daddy.
Boone. It's Daniel Boone! After him! I must go greet my Iroquois and Cherokee brothers.
I come as your brother to talk of peace. Peace? You follow. You bring powder for peace? Maybe white man bring powder and ammunition for hunting game. No? See, white man. In peace, both the Shawnee and the white man can share the powder to kill much game. Ha <laughs> ha. This man say different. He say you bring powder and more people to make war on Shawnee. He's true, is it not? Sorry. Daniel. To touch this bow, Blackfish will talk of peace. No man can get through that and live. If any man can, Boone will. Run, white man! making the report out on Boone? Well, he isn't here, is he? I tell you, he's dead. I tell you, he isn't coming back. He'll be back, and he's still alive, too, Paul. How do you know? You call it instinct or faith or anything you want. Oh. Daniel knows the Indians, and he understands them. And wherever he is or whatever he's doing, you can bet he's doing it for Boonesboro. You're beginning to sound like Boone. Maybe so. But look, Paul, this is young country, and the British or no one can keep us from growing big and strong. Now, we need people like Daniel to make us grow. I'm in charge around here, son. And what I say, the people will do. And I say we're evacuating this place right now. No one speaks for the people, Paul. Not even you. <laughs> The white man did not come to 
this country to destroy, but to build. He did not come here to steal land, but to work it so as to grow more food and to trade with his red brothers so that all might share. He did not come here as a warrior, but as a friend. He didn't come here to kill, but to live in a new world. My brother, this is the land of the Shawnee. Your father and their father fought for it long before the white man came. If you fight now, much blood will be shed. It will be the blood of the white man, not of Shawnee. It is better to die on warpath than to sit here like beggar. If you are not the beggar. I come to beg for peace. He who eat a white man's bread becomes his dog. There will be no peace. If my people could sit in council with the Shawnee Nation, my people would speak their minds. And then the Shawnee could judge. Daniel Boone covers himself with the mantle of our laws. In many tongues, he speak to us as blood brother of Shawnee. I say he must be punished for killing Shawnee warrior. Punish by death. Blackfish did not promise to make peace. Blackfish promised to talk of peace. I will send my two sons, Running Deer and White Fox, with warriors to bring the white man back to the valley between the fort and here. We will meet for counsel in the shadow of the Thousand Falls. This is the first chance I've had to thank you for taking Pa's part. You sounded almost like one of the family. <laughs> thank you, Jemima. Um... Uh, is there something else on your mind, Jemima? Uh-huh. Oh. I've been watching you and Susanna. You have? And I don't think you understand women. Does anyone? Another woman. <laughs> well, perhaps if I gave you a few pointers, it might help things along with you and Susanna. Such as what? Well, first of all, a woman likes to... be handled. Understand? No, I mean, uh, uh, I'm, I'm trying hard to. Now, next... You mean there's more? Well, sure. Oh, no. Moth uh, calling. I think I heard her, too. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Israel. You know, Israel, I have a funny feeling I'm going to be part of your family, all right. But, but which one? Huh? <laughs>
will run red with the white man's blood. Peace is the answer to the settlers, Shawnee, peace. On! Go! Take this Indian to Squire. He'll know what to do. Where have you been? What's going on? That Indian is White Fox, son of Blackfish. He was sent here to fetch you to a peace powwow. It's the first Indian I've seen since you left. Well, you do to see a whole lot more of them from now on. The entire Shawnee Nation is fixing to storm this fort. Shawnee Nation? Why? So Simon Gertie ambushed the peace party. It made it look like white man's work. I don't understand. Look, if White Fox dies before I get a chance to talk to Blackfish, we better be prepared to fight off 200 Indians. So we all better pitch in and see that White Fox stays alive. Well, what are his chances? This engine may die or live to kill more of us, which means I don't know. Daniel! 
how are we going to hold out against 200 redskins? I don't know. Not for very long, but we can try. Then we ought to surrender. Well, you can do that, too. But you better wait until Blackfish gets here. Are you sure he's coming back? I only wish I wasn't. We wouldn't be in this fix if you listened to me in the first place. It doesn't seem the time or place to talk about the past, considering we're not very certain about the future. <laughs> This man I ever knew. If by some miracle we get out of this alive, I'm going to see to it that you're court-martialed. If by some miracle we get out of this alive, Andy, it'll be a pleasure to be court-martialed. Now into bed you go. Scoot. Look, Daddy, I'm making a wagon just like the one that brought us to Boonesboro. Hey, that's pretty nice. It isn't finished, but I'll finish it tomorrow. What's the matter? Don't you like it? Yes, sure, son. It's great. Go to bed now. He said he was going to finish this tomorrow. He'll finish it. You're the first woman to come to Boonesboro. Our son was the first person to die. Very sorry you came. I was so proud when they named this place after you, Dad. No, we'll never have that chance. They killed Sam Colburn, didn't they? We're lucky they haven't killed more of us. You don't know it, Andy, but our luck just ran out. <laughs> Be burned to the stake like cowards. But I... 
will run. Run! Check the flinch and all the right. Good. Yeah! Yeah! Becky, you're the only one I can trust to mold the bullets. Will you tether all the molds and take them to our house and take charge of that? I guess you better get the bandages and the water ready, too. We may need them. Good. Yes, Daniel. Hubbard, Greeland. Yes, Mr. Boone? Get this water on the fire and keep it boiling. The fever's getting worse. Are those fireballs coming, Luke? Yeah. Here they are, Mr. Boone. I reckon we're going to give them engines plenty to think about. Good. Oh, uh, Luke. You know, this powder house is the first place they'll strike for. If it goes up, we're all finished. Guarded with your life. Don't you worry, Donald. As long as I'm on my feet, that powder's safe. Good. Santa? Hmm? If he should die, we... You shouldn't even think about that. Oh, I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking about you and Farron. Go on. Well, I think Farron's awfully cute and handsome, but he likes you. And besides, he's, he's much too old for me. <laughs> Not a sign of a redskin. They're out there, all right. Well, if they're out there, why don't I see them? You don't see an arrow in your back, Andy. You only feel it. Maybe this isn't the time to be asking, but but I... Uh... Asking what, Baron? Suppose, Mrs. Boone, just suppose, mind you, that you like someone a, a whole lot and you weren't quite sure of what was going to happen. Well, would you marry me? What? Not you, Ma. Susanna. Well, why didn't you ask her? You mean you don't mind? Why, certainly not, Baron. Thank you, Mrs. Boone. Thank you. You too, Israel. That looks like heaven. Open the gate!
What is the matter? You think they are finished? Maybe no ammunition. would like to talk to you. If you want to know who killed your son, pretend he's alive. Now lean down and pretend he's talking to you. Now looking back at you. 